The AIDS epidemic is one of Africa's greatest challenges, and young women in Africa have amongst the highest rates of HIV infection in the world. That's why the Center for the AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, or CAPRISA, was established in 2002 as an independent AIDS research organization. CAPRISA's science is guided by global eminent experts like Nobel laureate Professor Francois Bar Sinousi, who serves on CAPRISA's scientific advisory board. Caprisa's primary goal is to undertake innovative research to find solutions to the two main problems in the AIDS epidemic in Africa, preventing new HIV infections in young women and to prevent terminal cases of HIV and tuberculosis co-infection. Caprisa's research on tenofovir gel for HIV prevention showed that antiretroviral drugs can protect young women in Africa from HIV infection. This research, known as the CAPRISA-004 study, was ranked by the prestigious journal Science as one of the top 10 scientific breakthroughs of 2010. CAPRISA is now developing two novel technologies, using antibodies against HIV and new antiretroviral drugs to empower women to protect themselves from HIV. CAPRISA's research on HIV-TB has contributed to international policies and guidelines for treatment of this dual infection. These studies directly contributed to the treatment strategy that reduces terminal cases from HIV-TB co-infection by 56%. As a UNAIDS collaborating center for HIV research and policy, CAPRISA provides scientific advice to UNAIDS to guide the global HIV response. CAPRISA is also an official South African center of excellence in HIV prevention research. Caprisa's senior researchers have received over 20 awards in the last five years, including awards from the World Academy of Sciences, African Academy of Sciences, the African Union, and UNESCO. Professor Karaisha Abdul Karim received a L'Oreal UNESCO Women in Science Award for Africa and the Arab States. For more information about Caprisa and its efforts, please visit caprisa.org.